Hey guys, if you are using higher uh, Java version language, uh, such as Java 11, 12, 13, 14, etc. And also if you are using Java FX, a uh, higher version, then you might have ended up stuck inside your Java development environment. So you might have been able to uh, run and launch your uh, Java project inside your uh, Java development environment, but if you tried to export the jar and then run it uh, just by double-clicking on it, you might have got this error and uh, that's why you might have ended up stuck in here because normally uh, to launch a jar file uh, Java runtime environment 8 is being used and uh, projects uh, that uh, uses uh, higher uh, Java uh, language might have problem to uh, being launched by the lower uh, Java uh, language. So that's uh, why I have uh, downloaded, uh, for example, the latest uh, JDK, uh, uh, JDK 14, and also I have downloaded, uh, I went to open jfx.io and clicked download and it opened uh, this new tab. And I have also downloaded JavaFX 14 because uh, I want to use the same version of uh, JDK and JavaFX. And uh, the long-term support version is uh, still JavaFX 11. But if you want to try, there's also uh, early access for uh, JavaFX 15. But I'm using the same version for JDK and JavaFX. And uh, I have downloaded uh, uh, these uh, zip files over here and over here. And I've got two of these. So open JDK 14 and open JFX 14 and I have extract them uh, in here. You can extract those uh, anywhere you want but uh, I usually store them in one place uh, just for convenience. So here's my uh, JDK 14 and Java FX SDK 14 and uh, then you can try to export your uh, Java uh, your Java project, your jar file. So you can go to project structure, click on artifacts, on plus sign, jar, from modules with dependencies. Here you can select your your class. And here you need to change this to resources. I have found this solution on Stack Overflow. So uh, it, by default it sets up uh, this path to source main Java, but you need to change it to source main resources. So let's change it to resources. Okay, so you might uh, end up with something like this. You can click OK. And then after you build your project, you can click Build, Build Artifacts, and click on Build. So it is being built. It is right here. So right now I have generated this jar file. You can copy it and paste it uh, where you want to store it. So, so I'm going to store this over here. And in order to launch this, you need to at least uh, to create uh, one uh, batch file. So I named this uh, run jar.bet 
and over here you need to set up a few uh, variables for paths. So one is for Java FX and another is for Java uh, development kit for the JDK. And I have uh, created also uh, for the jar I want to run. And then you need to put there this one command. So paths to JDK, uh, this argument uh, with the path to JavaFX, add some modules that are required. In this case, uh, these two uh, modules are required and you can check it uh, inside your uh, JavaFX, uh, uh, inside your module uh, info Java file. So in this case, uh, there's uh, JavaFX controls and JavaFX.swing. So I have added them in here. And the last uh, argument is uh, uh, the standard one to jar to run a jar. So that's basically it. So if you uh, run this uh, batch file, it's going to open up this uh, command prompt, this terminal, but I didn't uh, like this to have these two windows uh, being open. So that's why, that's why I uh, made this script. I also found a way uh, on the internet how to make this work. So this command uh, enables you to launch uh, the command line in the background. So this is how uh, this launch underscore bet uh, dot VBS uh, looks like. So this is uh, only uh, the simple the simple script I have found. So uh, here I'm using a relative path because I'm storing this uh, in the same folder. So that's uh, why it should uh, look like this. So this script launches this uh, batch file and this batch file runs this jar. So it's kind of launch reception and I have also created this shortcut for this uh, launching, launching script. So that's basically it. So now uh, I have, when I minimize all of this, I have this uh, nice shortcut on the desktop. And when I double click on it, uh, it launches my jar file, which is written in higher Java. So that's basically it. So again, when you try to double click on your jar file, you get an error. But if you double click on your uh, script that uh, launches this uh, batch file and that launches uh, this jar file, you get this working. So if you want to launch it with uh, console, then you can only to create uh, this batch file, but here you've got it. It's quite simple. So that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Bye.